<clears throat> All right. Let's talk about monitors. So around the year 2011, people started using monitors that were 1080p. At the beginning of the year, if you checked Steam hardware survey, 1080p wasn't what the majority of people used. And actually back then, it wasn't really a majority majority like it is now with 1080p. There were a lot of different standards. It was just the standard that was the most common. Was it like 20% or something like that? It was... Okay, I forgot what it was. It's this resolution. But by the end of the year, the biggest resolution user base for Steam hardware reviews was 1920 by 1080p. And nowadays, it's also still 1920 by 1080p. Since 2011 to 2024, 1920 by 1080p has been the most common used resolution. Which doesn't make sense, right? For 13 years, it's been the same resolution. Like, sure, for the beginning part of that, 1920 by 1080p was, or 1080p, which I probably should just say that from now on, 1080p was the new one. Right now, 1080p is still the majority. 1440p is sort of getting more into it, but the majority of people still use 1080p. Why is that? Well, if you look at it online, a lot of people will say it's because 1080p is just good enough for most people. And I tend to agree with that, but I also, think it comes with a caveat of after full HD the next marketing term that TV people and monitor people came out with wasn't 1440p it was 4k be entertained in 4k and the jump from 1080p to 4k is gigantic if the next marketing term was 1440p instead of 4k I think a lot of people would have actually slowly gone over to 1440p more even nowadays, it's really hard for most computers to run things at 4K, but I don't think that's actually the reason why. I think a factor that a lot of people don't think about is the refresh rate or the FPS. I'm not saying this is de facto, right? But I remember when 1080p was slowly becoming the standard, a lot of us played at 30 FPS. Even back then, there were all, already like PC enthusiasts who were making fun of the fact that consoles couldn't run at 60 FPS and their computers could. But back then, it was a lot more common to run games at 30 FPS. There were even some games that were locked at 30 FPS. Nowadays, it's much more rare for a game to come at a locked frame rate. But back then, it was still uncommon, but it wasn't super uncommon. I remember watching a Total Biscuit video. I think it was a Need for Speed game, and he was ranting about how it was locked at 30 fps and how if you change it to 60 fps the physics would break so driving at 60 fps is absolutely impossible i might add but back then a part of me was like 30 fps is good enough i mean i didn't have hardware that could run stuff at 60 fps i ran everything at 30 fps i'm pretty sure some games even ran at 24 but i'm not 100 percent sure of that i might that might be like a false memory that my brain is making up but yeah back then a lot of games were played in 30 fps and 30 FPS was sort of seen as a normal refresh rate to play at, just like 60 FPS was. Both 30 and 60 were considered normal FPS to play at. But nowadays, it's almost weird to see a game run at 30 FPS. See, I don't know if I just became an, like an enthusiast or an elitist or whatever, but usually when you're playing games nowadays, you expect to lock it at 60 instead of 30. It's a lot more common to lower down like your resolution, or the graphics level just to hit 60 fps instead of having the highest quality but running it at 30 a lot of people would rather have a lower quality of visuals to have a higher frame rate and 60 is now considered the baseline a lot of people play at 120 144 160 there are some monitors that go even higher but for the standard gamer nowadays you usually expect to run a game at 60 fps so why did we pick higher refresh rate over higher resolution because higher refresh rate is less demanding i think a lot of people don't understand 
that it's actually less data to double the FPS. And what I mean by that is going from 30 to 60 is a times two multiplier. 1080p is around 2 million pixels. 4K is about 8 million pixels. That's how it's basically easier to double the refresh rate than to change from 1080p to 4K. Which is sort of crazy if you never really sat down and thought about it. But that's not the only reason why, right? It's not just because it was easier to go from lower refresh rate to higher refresh rate. Higher refresh rate is much more noticeable than higher resolution. Can you notice a 4K monitor? Yes, a 4K monitor will look prettier and a game running at 4K will look nicer. A game running at 60 FPS compared to 30 feels better. And if you run it even higher than 60, it still feels better. It's because of the way the frames work. If you have more frames to work with, your inputs feel less laggy. So there's less of a delay between you putting an input in and the input showing on the screen because it's not just 30 times a second that the input will register. It's 60 times a second that the input would register and you can sort of see it. Now, you might not actually be able to see super high refresh rates, right? A lot of people say they can't see the difference, but you can feel it because as much as we like to think that we're fully conscious and everything, a lot of our brain, especially movement and stuff, goes to the back half and it can calculate that stuff way faster than we can actually think about how things are moving. See, I think that's part of the reason why for gaming and stuff, 1080p and 1440p are seen as a standard still. But if you're watching a movie and you have a 4K screen, you're probably going to watch it at 4K because if you don't have to put inputs in, like 4K just fundamentally looks better. So as long as GPUs don't get some sort of new fantastical technology that can pump up our resolution whilst not lowering our FPS, which I think a lot of companies are trying to do with like AI and stuff and upscaling. I think a lot of us are going to still run 1080p pretty far into the future. I think 1440p is slowly picking up steam but it's still seen as like a luxury product. Now who knows, maybe, maybe in like 10 years, we're all gonna be running our games at 8K or something else. I recently saw this person run Cyberpunk and with ray tracing and everything. And it was scary, like how good it looked. Like it was, like it looked so realistic that it was sort of freaking me out, but I don't think that's going to become standard for a very long time. What I'm basically trying to say is the reason we still run 1080p, in my opinion, I'm not God or whatever. I can't say de facto the reason it looks good enough and we'd rather run at a higher refresh rate. That's basically it. So, uh, thanks everyone for watching. Like the video if you like it. Give me a sub if you want to see more from me. There should be a video on the screen that YouTube recommends. Um, thanks for all the support. A lot of people have been watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy my videos.